Hi, tiny little champs. Welcome to Yellow Class. How are you all doing? I am doing great as well. So, are you all ready for the session today? Come on, show me your happy faces. I am Madam Purvi and I am going to take you to the wonderland of mathematics where we are going to learn with fun. So, are you all ready to learn with fun with me? Great. Can you all see me and hear me properly? Show me your thumbs up. All right then. So let's begin the session with a warm up exercise. And in today's warm up exercise, we are going to do some roly poly. Do you know what is roly poly? Yes. Okay. So everyone will have to sing with me and enact with me. Those who do not know can copy me. Easy, simple. All right. But first, everyone sit straight. Come on. Everyone got to sit straight. So, let's begin the roly-poly. One, two, three, start. Roly-poly. Up, up, up. Roly-poly. Down, down, down. Roly poly, right, right, right. Roly poly, left, left, left. Roly poly, clap, clap, clap. Roly poly. Hands behind your back. Now again, continue roly poly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Fast, 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 fast. Again. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Fast, 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 fast. Very good. Did you enjoy the roly poly? All right then. So let's begin the session. In today's session, we are going to, today we are going to do something very interesting and something very fun. Can you guess? Today, we are going to do some food mathematics. We are going to use foods. Fruits, vegetables to do our math problem. Still confused? Okay, let me share my screen and you will come to know. Alright, can you all see my screen? What do you see on my screen? There are Fruits, bananas, strawberries, oranges and beers. So today we are going to do all the activities related to these fruits only. With this fruits, vegetables and food. Okay. So it is going to be super fun. So let's start with the first one. Here you will have to find the fruit that is the smallest in all. That has got the smallest size. Okay, so let's take a look at the bananas. There are four different sizes of bananas. Can you find out and tell me which one is the smallest of all? What is the meaning of small? Big, small. So what is the meaning of small? Something that is tiny, that is not big. So that is small. So which banana is small in size? A, B, C, D. The smallest of all you have to find out. A, B, C or D. Which one do you think is the smallest? I will tell you all the answers later, okay? Come on. Okay, so is it, are you sure? 
all right now let's find out the smallest strawberries that we have a b c d which one do you think is the smallest strawberry over here all right let's come to number c the oranges which one do you think is the smallest orange over here a b c d which one all right let's come to the last one now there are four different sizes of pears but you will have to find out the smallest pear of all which one do you think is the smallest a b c or d okay so everyone's done could you all find the smallest fruit of all the smallest size fruit so let's check okay let's take a look at the answers in the first one a the the banana number a is the smallest of all now let's take a look at the strawberries strawberry number b is the smallest of all let's take a look at the oranges orange number a is the smallest of all and in the last one pear number c is the smallest of all was that easy yes so in this way we are going to do different types of activity with the help of fruits food vegetables all right so let's move to the next one then let's see what do we have next we have fruit pattern okay so what is the pattern a pattern is a continuous design that goes on and on and on which is continuous in nature right it is made out of lines or see like this fruit also but it is continuous so a pattern has got different forms like it can be a b pattern or a b b pattern or a b c pattern a a b b pattern so in this way so like that here the pattern is apple pear pear see apple pear pear apple pear pear that means it is a b b pattern so below there are three options now again pear apple and pear so you will have to arrange it and put it in order so what will be the pattern what will come first what will come second and what will come third so can you solve the pattern apple pear pear apple pear pear so what will come next and then and the last one okay everyone's done yes so are you ready to take a look at the answer whether you are correct or not all right then. so the answer is apple pear pear because it is a b b pattern apple pear pear apple pear pear apple pear pear got it all right now let's move forward are you enjoying it okay now this is a fun game now this is a game for you all okay so what do you see on my screen a carrot french fries a pizza apple avocado ice cream broccoli donut and corn but here you will have to circle only the healthy fruit what is healthy no junk food only healthy food so which one do you think is healthy food over here you have to find out so tell me is pizza a healthy food should you eat pizza what about ice cream is it healthy what about broccoli should you eat broccoli is it good for your health avocado and apple what about apple is it a healthy food and what about donut do you like donut and corn the maize french fries i am sure you love french fries but is it healthy food and carrot what do you think about carrot okay 
So could you find out which all food are healthy over here? Which one should you eat and which one you should not eat? Only the one you should eat. Could you find out? Yes, everyone. So are you ready to let uh, ready to take a look at the answer? So let's find out the healthy foods that we have. So a carrot is healthy, but French fries not healthy because it is a fried item. Plus it is potato, which is not good for health. Again, pizza. Mm -mm. It is a junk food. Say no to pizza. Apple, good for health. Avocado, good for health. Ice cream, again a no-no. Lots of sugar. Broccoli is very good for health. Donuts, no-no. And maize is also good for health. So do you see what all are good food, healthy food over here? Okay, great. So now let's move to the next one. Now here we are going to do some food addition. Okay, do you see the plus sign? So addition is bringing two or more items together, two or more numbers together, okay, and adding it up. It is denoted by a plus sign. So do you see there in the first one, there are some hot dogs, then there are some apples, and then there are some potatoes. So you got to add all of them and find out the answer. Can you do it? Yes. Okay, then let's start with the first one. So count the hot dogs together and tell me how many hot dogs are there in total. Total number of hot dogs. Okay, everybody. Okay, now let's count the apples and find out how many apples are there in together. So how many apples are there? Hmm, all right. I'll tell you the answers in a while, okay? And the last one, count the total number of potatoes. How many potatoes are there? Okay, so everyone's done. Got the answer. So are you ready to take a look at the answer? Yes, all right. So here, in the first one, we have two hot dogs. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Number 2. Let's count the apples. 1, 2, 3 plus 1, 2, 3. So 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. So there are total 6 apples. Next, let's count the potatoes. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. So there are 8 potatoes. Understood? Food addition? I think most of you got it correct. Very good. So let's see what do we have next. All right. Now we have food subtraction. So what is the meaning of subtraction? Subtraction is Taking away number from another is subtraction. In addition, we bring together. But in subtraction, we take away. Just like it is shown in the first one. Also, subtraction is denoted by a minus sign. Do you see the minus sign over there? Yes, do you see the minus sign? Yes. So see, in the first one, there are some oranges. Let's count the oranges. One, two, Three, four, five. There are five oranges. So five is written. Minus two. That means we have to take away two oranges from the five oranges. So what, what has been done? You have to cut away two oranges. So if we take away two oranges, how many are left? Let's count again. One, two, three. So only three. That means 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Alright. 
So in this way, you have to find the rest of the answers. Can you do it? Okay. So let's start. What do you see? What is the next fruit? There are some apples. Let's count the apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six apples. So how many apples do you have to take away? Minus five. So from six apples, if you take away five apples, how many apples are remaining? Count. First take away five apples. So what is remaining? I will tell you the answers later. Six minus five is equal to how much? All right. Let's move to the next one. What fruit do you see again in the next one? Some bananas. Let's count the bananas. One, two, three. There are three bananas. And what you have to do? Three minus two. That means you have to strike off two bananas. Come on, strike off two bananas. So what is left? How many bananas are left? Three minus two is equal to how much? All right. Very good. Now let's come to the next one. What food do you see now? Cupcakes. Let's count the cupcakes. One, two, three, four. There are four cupcakes. Minus one. That means you will strike off one cupcake. So how many cupcakes are left? Four minus one is equal to how much? Find out. What answer did you get? All right. Everybody's done till here. Everybody needs to do okay. All right. Now, let's see, what is the next food after the cupcakes? What do you see? Some omelettes. Let's count the omelettes. One, two, three, four, five. So, there are five omelettes. So, what you have to do? Five minus four. That means you have to strike off how many omelettes? Four omelets. So let's strike off four omelets. So what is remaining? Five minus four is equal to how much? All right. Very good. Going lovely. Now let's do for the pizza. Okay. Let's count the total number of pizzas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine slices of pizza. And what you have to do? Nine minus seven. That means you will have to strike off seven pizzas. Come on, strike off seven pizzas. So how many slices are left? Count. So 9 minus 7 is equal to how much? How many pizza slices? Alright. So everybody's done. Got the answer. So are you all ready to take a look at the answer? Yes? Alright. So the first one is already done. Let's do the second one. There are six apples and we have two minus five apples. So six minus five, count the remaining apple. Six minus five is equal to one. Next, there are three bananas and we have two minus two bananas. So what is left? One banana. Next, there are four cupcakes and we have two minus one cupcake. So, 4 minus 1 is equal to how many cupcakes left? 
three cupcakes. So the answer is three. Next, there are five omelets and we have to minus four omelets. So when we subtract four omelets from five omelets, how many omelets are there? Only one. So five minus four is equal to one. Very good. The last one. There are nine pizza slices and we have to minus seven pizza slices. So when we minus seven from nine, we are left with two pizza slices. So nine minus seven is equal to two. Okay, understood everyone? Got it? Most of you got it correct. Very nice. So now let's see what do we have next. Now again, we have a game for you all, okay? So, do you see the first one? What do you see? There is a juice, a glass of juice. And on the next, you see there are some fruits, okay? So, you will have to tell me what food or what fruit do you need to prepare that juice? What is the color of the juice? So, which fruit will you need to prepare to make that juice? Do you need a strawberry? An orange or some grapes? Which fruit will you need to prepare that drink? This is easy. All right. I'll tell you the answers in a while, okay? Number two. Do you see the salad bowl? Yes. So I want all of you to take a look at the salad bowl properly. Observe it and find out what are the vegetables in that salad. Take a look at it carefully. Find out what all do you see. Okay. So now the options are tomato and some leafy vegetables. Number B, carrots and tomatoes. Or number C, cucumber and brinjal. So to make that uh, salad, what two items are there in the salad bowl? Tomato, leafy vegetable, carrot, tomato, or cucumber, brinjal. So, what two vegetable has to be there? What two vegetable do you see? Are you sure? You have to take a look at nicely. Both the vegetables should be there in the salad bowl. All right. Okay. Now, let's see the last one. Now, what do you see? It's a slice. So, what all are there on this pizza slice? What do you see? There's tomato, mushroom, cheese. Yes. So, let's find out what two items do we need to cook this pizza slice. Okay. Cheese and tomato. Cucumber and cheese. Or tomato and beef. So, what two items, toppings do you see on this pizza slice? What are the two toppings that you see? Very good. Okay. Everybody's done. Yes. If you have any question, any doubt, you can type it down in the chat box below. Okay. So, are you all ready to take a look at the answer? All right. So, the first one is a drink made out of orange color. So, which fruit is orange? Orange. So, that is the answer is orange. If we prepare a drink from uh, strawberry, so it will be red in color. If we prepare from grapes, it will be the same color purple, right? So, to prepare orange drink, we have to make use orange. Number two, in this salad bowl, I can see cucumber, some leafy vegetable, some onions and some tomatoes. But we had only three options, right? Some of you said that cucumber and brinjal, but there is no brinjal. So we are not going to choose that right item. Then somebody said that carrot and tomato, but there is no carrot. There is only tomatoes. So no, no to that. But in the first, the first one, there are tomatoes and there are leafy vegetables also. So the first one is correct. Right? So that is why I was telling you, go take a look nicely, take a look nicely. Now the last one. 
Now again on this pizza slice there is cheese. I gave you the hint also. Cheese, tomatoes and mushroom. Okay. So the first one has got cheese and tomatoes which are already there. But some of you said cucumber and cheese but there is no cucumber. And some of you said cucumber and peas but there is no peas again. So the first one is correct. But still most of you said it correct. Was that fun? Okay, let's take a look at the next one now. Now, this is also a super interesting game. Now, what do you see on there? What do you see here? There are some fries, some burgers, some popcorns and some pizzas, okay? So, you will have to count and say how many. How many fries, how many burgers, how many popcorns and how many pizza slices, okay? So, first, let's count the fries. Count and tell me how many fries are there. Come on. Okay, everybody got it? How many? Are you sure? Count it again. Okay. Now, let's count the burgers. How many burgers are there? So, how many burgers do you see? Are you sure? All right. Now, let's count the popcorns. How many popcorns are there? Okay. And the last one, pizza slices. How many pizza slices do you see? Okay. So, everybody's done. Got the number of, total number of fries, burger, popcorn and pizzas. So, let's take a look at the answer and find out whether you are correct or not. Are you all ready for the answer? All right then. So, there are four fries. One, two, three, four. Let's count the burgers. There are total five burgers. One, two, three, four and five burgers. Now, let's count the popcorns. How many popcorns are there? One and two. And the last one, pizza slices. One, two, three. There are three pizza slices. Got it? How many? All right. Very good. So now let's come back, all of you. Okay. So what did we learn today? We, yes, we did some food mathematics, right? So in this, we learned about addition. So what is the meaning of addition? Bringing together two or more numbers or two or more objects. And it is denoted by a plus sign. We also learned about subtraction. What is the meaning of subtraction? Taking away number from another is subtraction. And it is denoted by a minus sign. We learned about patterns. What is the pattern? Pattern is a continuous design. So the patterns can be AB pattern, AABB pattern, AAB or ABB. There are A, B, C. So, a pattern can be in any form. So, we got to observe it. Find out. Then, what did we learn? We learned how many to count and find out how many things are there. Right? And we also played so many games. So, did you enjoy today? If you have any doubt, any question, you can type it down in the chat box below. All right, so was the session fun? If you enjoyed the session, you can now call your friends as well and tell them about this interesting yellow class sessions. All you have to do is call your friends, share them, share with them your unique referral code. And by using that unique referral code, even they can attend yellow class sessions. And both of you can have fun together. Also, by sharing your code, you get the chance of winning exciting prizes. 
So don't miss this opportunity and call your friends now and tell them about this interesting and amazing yellow class sessions. All right. Next, you will also have to download the worksheet. Solve it and upload it in yellow class social media handles on Facebook and on Instagram for mentors feedback. Also, did you check our feed feature? You can upload photos and videos on it and I and all your friends can watch it, like it and reply to it. So don't forget to upload your photos and videos. Every one of us will be waiting for it. And now it's time for yellow class tip of the day. We should chew our food properly. All right. So now after this fun filled session, it's time for us to say goodbye to you all with a goodbye song. And I want everyone to sing with me. So let's sing it together. One, two, three. Start. Goodbye. See you soon. Thank you for a lovely time. Goodbye. See you soon. We'll be back to play again. We will laugh. We will talk and share again. So goodbye everyone. See you in the next session. Do not miss the session and be on time. Till then, bye-bye.